In this video, we're going to be discussing some of the issues that they're having at the U.S. Mint and how that could affect us long-term stackers going forward. Silver Joker here. In this podcast, I think I'm going to disagree with uh, a few of the conclusions that are being made about what's going on at the U.S. Mint. So together with my local coin store owner, Phil, we're going to discuss what may be causing some of the issues at the U.S. Mint and how that may affect us long-term stackers going forward. The proof silver eagles right now are unavailable from the men if you try to order them. Uh, whether they'll become available throughout the rest of the year, I, I think it remains to be seen. I'm, I'm assuming that they will. I'm, I'm leaning towards the fact that they will become available, but the enrollment, um, for the people that signed up for the enrollment and the quantities that they signed up for depleted the initial amount of the proof silver eagles this so year. So that's just the proof, I guess. Is what yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, they're they're not anymore. I mean, so there's there. I guess there's none available for people. Yeah, we just went back to the Mint's website uh, this afternoon to see, and they're still not available. It still has a remind me button, so obviously they're not available for ordering yet. Whether they're in production right now, I'm, I'm not sure. But my my guess is my best guess would be that they will become available at some point. Um, in the future, that you can go in and just order the proof Silver Eagles. Now, whether they limit how many more they put out, I don't know either. I mean, it's up to the mint. Well, I'm sure it's pure speculation at this point, but can you have any idea why that may be? Why the My guess is it's, the, it's not the silver issue. I think it's a planchet issue because okay. the the, um, the planchets for a proof silver eagle are different than just a bullion silver eagle. It, it's a highly polished planchet. Um, and it comes from a supplier who, um, has a quota that they're supposed to send to the mint, uh, and I'm sure it's on contract and, and whatever, but from that point, I'm assuming that they fulfilled their quota, the mint made what they were supposed to do, it's just they weren't expecting the enrollment to oh, I gotcha. actually, the Depleted. quantity of the enrollments uh, actually depleted the initial run of the Silver Eagles, at the proof Silver Eagles they had. I'm sure everything's back um, in, in tune as far as the supplier and the mint probably scheduling the, the you know, the the striking of right. the proof silver eagles again. That would be my assumption that they will be become available. I don't know when, but um, stranger things have happened. I right, guess. I get you. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. so, so from from your understanding, what you're saying is the business strikes are still available. Yes. yes. Okay, they're yes. going to be available. It's the proofs that were depleted by enrollments. Yes. Okay, so going forward you're saying that you you believe or you're assuming at this point that they're going to make some more proofs available later in the year. My assumption is that the the bottleneck on the proof is the planchets right. and they you. come from a certain supplier. Um, the Mint doesn't, they, they order planchets from various providers of the planchets so and that's contracted with them so my guess is that the initial supply um, which they probably did the same number as they've been doing. It's just the enrollment uh, was super high this year and it depleted um, the inventory that they had. So my guess is that they're in the process of restriking uh, more proof eagles. Um, if they don't, I would hold on to your proof silver right. eagles. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if for some reason they don't get back to manufacturing uh, or, or striking them again. But my guess is they're just waiting on uh, either the planchets to arrive or to, if they do have the planchets, they're waiting on uh, a scheduling issue to start striking them again. Because keep in mind, they have so many presses, and they're doing other other coins, and they have to schedule these types of coins. Uh, you know, when the presses are available, Gosh, you just can't say we're going to come in today and start making um, cents today, or tomorrow we're going <clears> to <throat> start making nickels. I mean, there's a big setup process involved, uh, and they try to run them all. You know, uh, so they don't have to keep 
changing out the, the dies and the presses have different uh, pressures that they use uh, in the striking process. So there's a lot of different things that go in terms of every every coin has a turn uh, to run through the presses, and I'm sure that's probably it's. I'm sure I would hope that it's on the schedule at some right. point <laughs> because it is a silver planchet. I I think that with the idea that you know silver's kind of hard to find right now I, I think a lot of people are making the quick assumption that it's a shortage of silver I don't believe that that's okay. the case I, I believe it's a planchet or a production issue on um, manufacturing and versus them not being able to find silver to make the planchets I've gotcha. not heard that so it's not so it's not a, 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 a panic issue where they're you're running out of silver. I don't believe so. Right. I would agree yeah. with that because yeah. you have some here and then you see it online. I mean, it's not as available as it used to be. It waits a little longer, but you can still pretty much get silver that you want if you, if you're willing well, to. Well, we'll go right uh, back to the, the premiums. premiums. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're exactly right. right. If you can sit there and you want to go home tonight and order 500 ounces of silver. You'll get it. You, you can find money, it if you're right? willing to, to pay whatever somebody's Premium. asking for the 500 ounces. You're, it's available. I, I believe people are, that have silver are holding on to it. And I believe there's more buyers in the market for silver creating a, a higher demand than the supply is right now. I don't believe that the supply is a lack of silver. I think it's simply that it's being dispersed over a larger quantity of people buying silver or holding on to silver or understanding the value of silver. I would absolutely agree yeah. with that. We do, um, we do still sell a lot of silver. We still buy a lot of silver. I don't think there's an issue with um, silver not being available. I just think the scarcity of having it available for purchase when you go to buy it um, is becoming fewer and fewer uh, times um, you know in between that you can actually go in normally you could come in and find silver available most of the time now it might be a hit or miss type right. thing all right well thank you very much yeah. phil uh, this is very informative today uh silver is available so you know if, <laughs> if what you see going on at the mint don't panic yeah silver is still available and um you know it's best to go out and get you some i mean yeah. it comes in it goes out all right Appreciate that, right, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. I agree that we're not running short on silver, but I believe, as Phil pointed out, that is more of a demand issue. There are more people who are buying silver, more people are holding on to their silver longer. So that's creating this situation where as soon as silver comes in to the bullion dealer, it goes out just as fast. Now, I'm no expert. There may be a silver shortage. The issue is the premiums. The premiums are really what's different. And the premiums are high because silver is in such great demand. And it seems to be short because it's in such demand. You know, I'm gonna to continue to buy silver at the rate that I've been buying it so far. The premiums have not been out of range for me. Not saying that one day they might be <laughs> because there is a limit to what I can spend. And it's just simply because of the premiums. Premiums are not a deterrent for me, they just make me have to adjust my budget a little more often. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.